wait until you see the view on this Perry home. Now this is the 3299 plan. The name of the plan is also the approximate square footage. We have four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. This is an open concept, two-story home. I think you see that right when you walk in through the front door where I love this grand entrance where as you enter the home, this spiral staircase is unveiled. But right, look one more time up at the ceiling and then I can't wait for you to see the living room. But you have this very cool circular ceiling design in this, uh, just above the spiral staircase. Now, what I like about Perry's plans is a lot of their two-story homes are very open concept where it's open to the second story when you first walk in and then open to the second story in their living room. And even with just four bedrooms, we have two bedrooms down, two bedrooms up, a study down, a dining room down, and one of the most incredible views that I've seen in a home that's under a million dollars. And that's exactly what we're gonna get to right after I show you the kitchen. And I'm gonna start with the kitchen, go through this main living area, and then I'm gonna show you that view in detail. Now, while we're in here, I will mention the list price of this home is 924,900, or better stated, just under $925,000. Now, what you see is what you get. You're not gonna get the furniture. This is just staging uh, done by that design company that's right there. Uh, but you will get the upgrades that are shown in here. So for example, you got a five burner gas stove top. You have this designer vent hood. And I love this hexagon kitchen backsplash that they have here that just flows with this kitchen and flows really well with this countertop. So the countertop on the kitchen island is different from the perimeter countertops. I love the movement in those countertops. And even though this is one of the smaller islands that we see here, that gives you a lot of room here in the breakfast nook area with that six seater table, as well as the main living area. And this also does give us enough space for the dining room. I'll show the dining room a little bit later and uh, further in detail but before we get to the pantry, I just wanna show you they have this butler's pantry area, giving you some cabinetry in between your kitchen and your dining room. Again, your dining room's on the left side. We'll see that later. That's a massive pantry from what I'm seeing, uh, for, especially at this square footage of just under 3,300 square feet. Now, my name is Rod Safu. I am a realtor in Austin, Texas and I've represented clients with 19 different builders. So I don't work for any of these builders. I work for my clients and I try to provide them the best options possible. I do love touring the beauty of Austin and I think this breakfast nook area captures that really well. I say it often, I love my cup of coffee in the morning. It's where I'm at peace. And I can imagine having my morning cup of coffee looking out to this. Let me know what you think about that. That is an incredible incredible view here in the community of Sweetwater. I'll talk a little bit about Sweetwater as we head outside. It's a community just on the edge of Austin, Texas, uh, Lakeway, and kind of close to Bee Cave, Dripping Springs, really that west, southwest corner of the Austin metro. And as you can tell, there are just rolling hills here, views everywhere beauty you have the colorado river close by and even lake travis very close and different swellings of the colorado river we call lakes so it's pretty much all the same thing and uh, you just have these gorgeous backdrops that you can enjoy just from your living room so keep in mind all those windows were in the living room these were the windows that were in that same breakfast area and while we're on it this is a good size patio and I think when you have a view like this and you have weather like this too, beautiful. I'm actually shooting this right in the middle of January. I picked a really nice day. It's not always like this, but it's 67 degrees. And I just have, uh, usually on mornings like this, wear a light jacket, but then I take that light jacket off because you can really enjoy the sun in the 60s. Now, if light jackets are unusual for you in the 60s, wait till you see Texans in the 50s because that's when the winter jackets come out. Uh, but take a look at this view. 
Uh, every lot's gonna be different. Like some of the lots have a lot of trees like what you're seeing here and they're kind of scattered across the back. I like this home because it's just, you just wide open right here. And really that tree that looks like it's coming down, maybe it's on its way down. That could be because they're clearing the lot next to it that they're just gradually cutting that down. But I think you just get so much open space for views there. I'm gonna show you those views throughout the home. I actually, I'm excited for you to see that from the second floor and even the primary bedroom. But before we get there, I wanna show you the living room and I will tell you a little bit more in detail of what's happening here in Sweetwater and what's happening around Sweetwater and why people are moving here. But getting back into the 3299 plan, that view, I know I stayed out there for a while, but just imagine your TV's here. You can see all the way over to the front door. Actually through that door is gonna be the primary bedroom where we'll head next. But that view is incredible. And to enjoy that from your living room, well below a million dollars, just not tough to do anywhere where you have views because you just don't have areas that have views. They usually go for high-end custom home product and it tends to be in the millions. Here, we just have a lot of hills. And so you have communities like this in Sweetwater where you don't have to pay millions to get that view. Now you also get these open concept homes. I was showing you that circular ceiling design before. I love seeing that throughout this main living area. And you can also see that throughout the home. Okay, actually, before we get to the primary bedroom, actually, that's a powder bathroom. So let me show you the primary bedroom and primary bathroom first because I want you to see how well this opens up. Now, like I mentioned, I was staging before, but you'll see some great views here. And just imagine a bed on that wall. The outlets are on either side of that bed, probably right next to the nightstand. And I love how they put a bow in the window, just providing a little bit more of a curve. Adding a fourth window, a lot of builders will do this wall with three windows. And I'm imagine waking up to that in the morning get out of your view here of those windows incredible you do have some homes in the back right but do you notice those homes it's a very small percentage of that hillside right now i gotta tell you i'm not sure how much of that would change when i do have clients that are interested in full details on these homes of course that's those are the types of questions i'm going to ask and uh, even when they tell me well that's property owned by somebody else we don't know well, then you got to call them and you got to figure out what's going on. You got to talk to the zoning and you got to talk to different people who are in the know about what's going on in these developments because you want to make sure your view is as protected as possible. Now, we are here in the primary bathroom. They did a lot of whites and grays in this home. So you see gray cabinets, white countertops. I like seeing a little bit of movement in those countertops so that way when some hair is there or something, it's nice to just have that hit it a little bit where you don't feel the need to clean your countertop every five minutes using this bathroom. They did a subway backsplash on this tub and all the way around on the towel surround, uh, sorry, tub surround. They did that same subway tile in the walk-in shower here and they went all the way up to the ceiling they change up that tile to go into a herringbone pattern. Let me know what you think about this. Usually this subway tile, if you're designing these homes from scratch, is rather inexpensive, but you can do something fun like that by going horizontally into that herringbone pattern all the way up to the ceiling. Let me know what you think about that. And we have two vanities we've already seen there. We have a commode on this side. Right of this commode is going to be a small linen closet. I'm not going to open up every linen closet in this home, but I do want to show you the walk-in closet. Now, I like the size of this walk-in closet. I think it's, I would call it average for this square footage. Uh, at this square footage, what some builders like to do, and Perry sometimes has this in a lot of their floor plans because they offer quite a few floor plans, is if the laundry room is close by, they'll have an entrance from the primary closet to the laundry room. I know it sounds small, but for a lot of people, when they're lugging their laundry through their home, sometimes they're thinking about, should I have done that laundry door? I'm not sure. 
I think for this plan, it just didn't make any sense to have it. So I think for a lot of people, they would say that's not that big of a deal. But I did want to point that out. Uh, if you are building from scratch, oftentimes that is a structural upgrade with the builder, meaning you have to pick it right at contract. And I'll explain that process a little bit later too. Now this is going to be that powder bathroom where they elected for the pedestal sink and then commode on that side. And we're right underneath the stairwell, but I think you have a pretty good amount of head height there. I don't think it's too bad in there. And that would be a coat closet. Okay, moving down the home and then we'll head up to the second story where you have those windows that look out to the view, the transit windows in the living room, you have a really spacious game room. But I wanna keep going here in the dining room. And like I mentioned, if you're more of a kitchen and open kitchen person, <laughs> then this dining room is taking up space that I think some plans with Perry don't have, but you get more space in the kitchen. So just keep that in mind. I think with Perry, who I've contracted and closed with multiple times, they have a lot of different plans compared to other builders. Some other builders at a certain lot size, everybody picks the same one plan or same two plans. I don't see that as often with Perry. And so if you can understand that kitchen is right beyond that wall, some plans, if you can go without the dining room or have the dining room in the back there, that will give you some more space there in the kitchen and could be the best of both worlds if you want like a bigger kitchen island. Now this is going to be the mud bench and that's because we do have a three car tandem garage. So this is the two car door and the third car tandem is really just used for storage. Although I guess you could try to put car back here. That's usually a water softener loop that they have because the Austin Metro has a lot of hard water, meaning it's just mineralized, uh, has a lot of minerals in it, and it's nice to demineralize it. If that is a word, that's what I would go with. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be the utility room. There's a space for a washer and dryer there, and then just a shelf, put your laundry detergent, and a rod to hang anything you want. Okay. Now, why I said I really like Perry's plans before we head upstairs is, first off, I don't think I showed this before. We were open to the second story, but I like how they have tall ceilings and fit windows wherever they can. So you have windows there above the front door and then above the dining room and the second bedroom downstairs, which we're gonna get to set in a second, they have these open spaces in the hallway upstairs that lead to spare bedrooms. That's really nice if you want that open concept feel in your home. Definitely feels open in here. Now, this is gonna be the second bedroom downstairs. I say it often in a lot of my videos. I think this is so key. Even if you don't need it, it's, key. it's so crucial to have right now for resale. I think for many years to come, people are gonna be looking at having two bedrooms downstairs as we have an aging population of grandparents staying with their kids from time to time. And those grandparents don't want to go up and down the steps. And believe me, if they say they do, there will be a time, unfortunately, when they don't. And, and that's just a fact of life. And that's, that's when it's so important to have a second bedroom downstairs so they have their own space and then also have this walk-in shower. Now, one thing I want to show you is there's often an option for an acrylic pan. That just means that this is a white acrylic pan that usually has a lip around this high. So they do have to walk over top of that lip in the pan. Now, for this mud set shower, they dig into the concrete, and that's usually a structural upgrade if you are building these homes from scratch. So it's something you have to pick right when you contract on the home. And I think that's important if you want to put that mud set tile. I've had some people say the acrylic pan is a little bit slippery, especially when it gets soapy and, you know, somebody's in there washing off the soap. It can get a little bit more slippery. There are things you can do aftermarket. I've had people buy uh, something to put on the floor of that acrylic pan just to get more grip. Actually, my wife and I did that in our bathtub that our two kids use. I say two kids use. We have a two-year-old and a three-month-old right now. So the three-month-old is just kind of 
relaxing in his bin getting bathed but uh my two-year-old definitely we don't want her slipping around because she's starting to you know want to jog or you know play in the in the bathtub as much as possible anyway moving on we have good lighting in this inventory hall, four lights in the study i think perry does a good job listening to their buyers and a lot of people say they want their study to feel very open with lots of ventilation uh some people call it or windows is another way to say it and i think you get that on that front elevation and then even these doors are great with the glass looking out now i'm very detail oriented so a lot of a lot of my clients and if you're not i think it's important to understand what you can and can't do in some of these homes sometimes i get people that do this glass and when they have kids especially and they're trying to work from home with their kids home their kids keep coming and knocking on the window when they see them and sometimes it's nice not to have that window there but i've also had people that just do a film aftermarket so you can't see you can see through it like light still comes through it but you can't see people through it and that's just like privacy glass or privacy film let's head upstairs and this home is reminding me one of my clients who bought the 3917 plan where they had this spiral staircase also had somebody buy the 4198 plan and then i also had uh i've had somebody buy the 3399 plan i've done a lot uh, with perry and other builders and i like what they do here so some builders believe it or not they'll put the windows right above those windows there it never made sense to me because then you're kind of met with just wall right here but perry i like that in a lot of their plans they move these transom windows up so they're right with your eye line and i'm pretty much putting my by the way, I'm shooting this on a camera. I'm sorry, uh, on, on an iPhone that has a camera like everybody else's iPhone. And so there's no special editing. I even tell my editor, I don't do color grading or anything that they do after the fact. They might do some edits on the thumbnail, which is that picture that you probably clicked on if you're seeing this on YouTube or my website. But this is on a cell phone. And I love that you can capture this on a cell phone. You get to the top of the steps, which I'm right in front of and you can see right out. Amazing. I can't tell you how big of a difference that makes. In a home, when people get to the top of the stairwell, especially for resale, when you have a view like that. I also can't tell you how big of a difference this makes. Tray ceilings in a game room, big windows off the side wall, and then in addition to this large game room, a media room with double doors. Now, I've had some people say they don't want windows in their media room. I've also had a lot more people now come to me and say, you know what, I would like the windows because I'm not going to do it after closing. And if I want to make this into a theater room, I can just do blackout curtains. Now, I think for this specific media room, I don't know where you would orient yourself to have a TV, maybe here. But the problem with that is you have two windows that are on the side. so. I don't know if you'd want to block those windows, but that could be a way to do it. Or you could just have this as a hangout area and there's a lot of things that I'm sure you can do, like even putting a TV on that side and then putting furniture where I'm standing. Now, I love these windows that Perry puts in. It just makes such a big difference in the curb appeal. And then as you can tell, there is a lot of new construction going on. It's like a war zone out there. But are you catching that view that's here? That's what's possible in a community called Sweetwater, which is what we're in. Now, as I showed the other two bedrooms that has a full bathroom, talking a little bit about Sweetwater, what I think Sweetwater is doing is it's piggybacking off of the growth that's happened in Lakeway. Now, Lakeway has been built out for many years, so it's not like it's uh, a new area that was once farmland and that farmland now is getting developed. Lakeway has been built for quite a while, but they're finally just getting around to some of these areas that have beautiful hills. And there's really Sweetwater and another community that's closing out called Rough Hollow. And those are the two big master plan communities in this area. Uh, sorry, get it back to the floor. And I just got to show you this. Look at the windows off of this spare bedroom. That's incredible. Uh, I don't know if you'll still be able to see that hillside, but I'm pretty sure you can. There might just be a few more homes in these areas, but horizontal or parallel with the current homes. I think you can see right out there. I think that's the way to get out where you go down this beautiful hill and really catch a view. But getting back to Sweetwater, 
I like that Lakeway is finally getting some development. So there is a mixed use development space in Lakeway getting built out. I believe it's right next to the police station. I think that's what I remember seeing it. So I don't know if it's gonna be pulled up on Google Maps yet, but if you look up the Lakeway police station, I believe there's a plot of land right around there. It's something I, I would pull up on my phone, but <laughs> it's not uh, something I can do right now while I'm recording this full bathroom that's in between the two bedrooms. But I like seeing developments like that. I like seeing areas that have growth. And I think with Lakeway, the advantage is you have an area that's already built out uh, and the outskirts of that Lakeway, like Sweetwater, um, or I guess Sweetwater's technically in Austin, uh, but these areas are on the edge of a suburb that's been built out for a while. So it feels a little bit more established. And that is a concern that I get with buyers where they say, hey, we wanna feel like we're an established neighborhood. Like I just had somebody say, they have a high school age uh, kid that they're gonna move here for, for maybe four years. And in those four years, they wanna feel like they're in an established city. And I, I told them that, well, there's some parts that I wouldn't recommend because they're still growing. They still have a lot of room for growth, but there's some other areas maybe like this that could make sense for them. Now, if you want more details on Sweetwater or communities like this that have amazing views, definitely let me know. I love touring homes like this and I know what the good options are. I also know what the bad options are. And in every market, whether it's going up or down, there are always good and bad options. The problem is nobody, no seller is gonna tell you which ones are good or bad. Every seller is gonna tell you they're good, but that's why I represent buyers predominantly. And that's what I can help you out with. Now, if you want, uh, I know I was gonna talk about the process to build a home. Reach out to me if you need that. I'm happy to help you. Um, I have built homes now with 19 different builders, meaning I've represented clients. Some of these builders I've worked with five times, 10 times. So I've seen them change. Some are trending in the right direction. Some are not trending in the right direction or people are just paying way too much money for some builders, maybe because they have a great brand, but they're just not backing up their work with their brand. I know that may not make sense, just me talking in general, uh, but the fact is I'm not gonna trash builders on my website or tell you which ones are good or bad publicly. Uh, that wouldn't really help me or help my clients with the relationships that I have with these builders, which I do need to maintain for your own good. So if you are looking at real estate in the Austin Metro, reach out to me. I'd be happy to partner together in your home search and figure out what your best options are. So my number's at the bottom of the description of this video. And while I head back outside, because I want you to see that view one more time, I will tell you that if you are watching this uh, on YouTube, I do publish these videos publicly, but first I publish them privately on my website. So check out my website. It's at the top of the description of this video. And uh, if you are watching this on my website, then you already have access and if you wanna see another home with Perry, go ahead and click on the thumbnail on the right side of your screen. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care.